What's going on guys? It is Jamie and welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. It is the end of 2022 and I thought I'd share about five things that sold for me recently on eBay and I thought we would talk about some other selling platforms as well and uh, what I think of them and what I think I'm going to do in the new year. Let's get right into a couple of what sold. So this was pretty cool. New York Yankees Big Buddy doll. This wasn't exactly fully tested and I think in the description I believe that it does say that uh, but I'll show you a few pictures here. You know this thing is brand new in box. I did slide them out of the box. Everything's still all connected. So I tried to leave as much, you know, I tried to leave it alone as much as I could. Um, let me see if we go down to this description here. It says original box center out of 10. It has some, some issues. Uh, taken out of box. Didn't want to break the original packaging. So it's not fully tested or anything like that. It seemed to be working. And I believe it said the mouth wasn't, uh, sorry, uh, the mouth wasn't zipping along <laughs> with with the words but you know this thing is definitely vintage and it's definitely old i picked this thing up for ten dollars and i've recently ran a 30 percent off sale on stuff that's been kicking around for anything that's been a little bit older or been sitting in my store for a long time i've been i put on a 30 percent off sale so you'll see a few things here that are up on sale and you know it's pretty good so 84 dollars 70 cents i paid ten dollars for this at a thrift store i'm not going to complain with that uh, it was shipped within canada and everything was covered with the twenty dollars i think it went to saskatoon and it actually cost me like eighteen dollars to ship it so that was okay uh so this was a nice one happy to see it going out the door uh not a big yankees fan so having this thing out of my house also a plus <laughs> I'll share one more thing that sold before we get into a few other platforms. This was a coin set that was picked up. My wife actually found this at um, at the Goodwill Bins in London, Ontario. Just a coin set from 1978. I do believe at the bins, if they think it's money, they'll, they'll take it from you. But this one was like in this book like this. It looked like a little Bible or something. They didn't really question it. It was just in with our stuff and they charge us whatever price I, i'm gonna guess i don't remember but i'm gonna say a couple dollars it doesn't weigh a lot anything like that even that might be overkill for something this small but i got you know 40 dollars plus shipping for this thing or 39.98 so it was a pretty good sale in my books <laughs> by far my favorite platform to sell on this year has been poshmark i've made the most money on ebay but on poshmark i've done very very well i've sold for i think 11 months now not quite a year i think i started it end of January into February, something like that. But I really do enjoy it. Uh, there is no guesswork with shipping. You sell something, they send you a label, you ship it off in appropriate packaging. Um, clothing sells great on it. Hats sell great on it. You know, um, Shoes seem to sell great on it. I've sold toys on it. Uh, I've sold plush on it. You can pretty much sell anything. I do see people selling video games and other things on there as well. I can't really speak to that. I've mostly just sell clothing and shoes on Poshmark, but I really enjoy it. Um, it does show you when you put you when you fill everything out. It shows you how much money you will make. So if you're trying to guess, you know, or gauge how much money you want to make off of something or how much you paid for something, it's really easy to figure out profit. Uh, I'll throw something up on the screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But when you're filling out the listing at the very bottom, when you put in how much you want to charge it will definitely show you how much you will get paid out if somebody buys it for that price the other cool thing about poshmark if you're not if you're new to it uh, it gives people the opportunity to bundle things so if they like five six seven things out of your store they can like it put it in a bundle um, they can offer you a bundle price or you can offer them a discount if they want to buy a whole bunch of things from you and i've sold you know multiple times this year five to ten things to the same person through bundles uh, and it works out really great because they save on shipping <laughs> You're maybe willing to give somebody a bigger discount that way. And uh, yeah, it's definitely worth your time. If you're thinking about getting on Poshmark, get on it. The next item here, this was a best offer accepted. I think I accepted $25 for this. This is an Oogie Boogie uh, Disney Funko Pop. Now I've sold quite a few Funko Pops here over the Christmas period. I have a lot of brand new unboxed ones right now. I think I still have maybe three or four of this exact one. Um, I'm into these particular ones, the brand new ones, about $10 a piece. So... 50, um, 10, yeah, $10 a piece. So for me, profit there, there's $15 less fees. Uh, shipping was covered by the buyer. So I'm not making a killing off of this. I'm probably still doubling up on my investment. So that's okay. Um, this particular deal, I never wound up talking about it on the channel, but I bought $1,000 worth of Funko Pops from this company. And it was a nightmare to get them all. And uh, I won't be dealing with them again. Although I did get good quality stuff. I do like what I got, but it was like pulling teeth to actually get the products from them. And uh, we kind of 
On a side note, we kind of ended on, on bad terms. I don't think they shipped me all the inventory I bought and they believe that they did. Um, but regardless of the fact, I just decided to wash my hands from it and I'm still selling the Funko Pops online and I'm still gonna make decent money doing it. Next up, we have a VCR. This is part of a 30% off sale. I probably didn't need to run a sale this big on this VCR, but I did and I got $42 plus shipping and it sold pretty quick on the sale. I've also been selling on another platform, which I'll talk about in a minute, and it's been doing very well for vintage as well. Um, but yeah, this VCR I picked up for probably, I'm gonna guess $8 max, and you know sold for $42 plus shipping. VCRs definitely still sell really well for me. I enjoy it because it's something vintage and nostalgic for me. Testing them out is very easy. You just plug it into the TV, make sure it plays, fast forward, rewinds. If it's supposed to record, I try to hit the record button and see what happens. Other than that, I usually just clean it up with like a goo gone, give it a good wipe down, take a brush, brush out the back so there's not a whole lot of dust and stuff in the back. Some of these old units definitely collect dust. So I just clean it up, make sure it works and put it on different online platforms to sell and they do sell for pretty good money still. So let's talk about two mediocre or duds. So Whatnot for me, Whatnot was not a good selling platform. I only got on there a handful of times. Uh, my auctions went super low. I didn't make much money. I think profit wise payout this year is less than $100. I think I got like $87 Canadian in payouts. I lost money on uh, definitely my Funkos. I think I lost money or broke even. I think maybe I broke even on after I, yeah, broke even on it because I made some of the ones I had, I was just liquidating. So I've already made the money out of the lots, but the actual Funko sold for not a lot of money. Overall, a bad experience. And I think being a Canadian reseller on whatnot, shipping really hurts you. I haven't looked back in it, looked back at it in a while. Maybe they fixed some of the shipping issues, but for Canadian sellers, shipping was just not appealing to American buyers. Um, now here's where like uh now here's where i think poshmark maybe has the advantage i've signed up to do the same sort of thing on poshmark do like live sales like live auctions uh poshmark is just poshmark canada it's canadians who understand that shipping in canada is a set amount of price it's people who have already used to poshmark so on that platform i do feel like i would do much better i don't know i th still think i would might try to do like funkos on there and some toys and clothing so I still could hit some of the same things I would possibly do on whatnot but I do think for me personally because it's a Canadian market I would do much better and with the US market uh, the, or the sort of the, the combination of Canada and the US on whatnot it makes it really muddy for me and I do get a lot of messages or I was getting a lot of messages that said the shipping was too high uh, and blah 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 and I was using their shipping carrier straight through whatnot so there wasn't much I could do about it maybe some of that's changed like I said that's all from you know four or five months ago now. So maybe that's all been updated. But for me, that was a bad experience. I also wanted to touch on Vinted for a minute. Uh, I actually didn't like it and I'm starting to like it now. I'm starting to get some sales. I don't have a ton of sales on it yet, but I probably have a good dozen sales. It's a little harder. I need to probably go back and adjust my pricing. One of the things I do like about Vinted is when you do sell something, uh, they provide the shipping label in most cases. If somebody wants to ship Canada Post, in that case, you do you do create a shipping label and you do it yourself, but most people pick usually peer later, or um, I forget what the other one is. It might might be uh, I'll throw it up on the screen. There's a couple options like that that are much cheaper. It winds up being like six dollars, and I believe the way that it works is they have to go pick it up in, in their hometown at a depot. But it's a very good price for them. I think a lot of times when I listed things on Vinted originally, uh, I didn't understand the breakdown of. Uh, fees and stuff like that exactly so I think I have things listed a little too high so on that particular platform if you sell something for $20 you actually make $20 all the fees and everything associated with that uh, the buyer pays so maybe I need to go back and look at some of my the prices that I've set because they're basically set on eBay and Poshmark uh, platforms right where you're trying to account for fees and, and all these other things so I do need to go back and adjust some of that but I've still made some pretty good sales. The last thing I'm gonna share with you guys that I sold recently was this hockey jersey. I did accept a best offer. Uh, I bought this for $20 on Facebook Marketplace and flipped it for, I think, best offer of 70. Might've been 70 or 80. I'll find the actual uh, number and throw up on the screen. I just don't remember the second, but it was pretty good money still. Uh, I listed it and sold it within days. So this guy, I think it might even say up here, it started December 23rd. Uh, can't see it in a second it's currently the 29th one recording this so it sold within the week anyway but i feel like it was days super fast jerseys has still been doing good for me um i have a lot of 
oddball ones that I still have been hanging on to that I haven't sold yet that are just looking for the right person. Um, but yeah, if you can buy jerseys for any anything under twenty dollars and flip them for like money like this, I think it's worth it for me. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll check out Facebook Marketplace for someone selling a jersey for twenty bucks and pick them up and flip them like this. My Goodwill uh, can be anywhere from eight dollars to sometimes they want forty dollars. You know, depending on the jerseys or, or you know, I, I don't know what it's like in your area, but you know, my my uh, my Goodwill all over the map in prices. Um, Salvation Army, same thing. I've had some stuff that's come up a little higher. Different thrift stores value things differently. Um, there's uh, Simply Secondhand, which you guys see me go to once while here. They have a Canadian's jersey from the 90s right now that they want, I think, $90 for. They're probably not going to get it in town, but, you know, I hope that they do because, you know, they deserve it. You know, I think if they if they can get that kind of money in thrift stores, that's fine. I, I do think they deserve to get it. Um, but I think the average person walking in there is not going to pay it. So if they want to hang on to stuff for a long time, you know, more power to them. If not, you know, especially if you're looking at a Goodwill, eventually that's going to come up on a tag day. Or if nobody wants it, it's going to go to the Goodwill bins and somebody's going to get it for basically next to nothing. So, you know, they can obviously price things however they want. So that's, you know, that's just how it works. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is Etsy. I've sold plenty of vintage VCRs, radios, you name it. Etsy has been great for vintage items for me personally. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be something new going into the new year. I've just started selling on it about a month ago, and I've already made probably about $350 to $400 in sales. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I've also been selling Funko Pops and jerseys on there. So I'm being a little more particular about what I sell on Etsy, but so far, it's been good. Hopefully everybody had a great holiday season. We're getting close to New Year's here and I want to wish everybody a happy new year and all the best in your sales and your personal life. So if you guys like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content. Until next time, take care, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.